I'm feeling a bit sluggish today. Hi everyone! Welcome to Manchester Library's Summer Reading Challenge. My name's Mandy and I'm an artist and that means I love drawing, painting and making things. I'm going to use my creative skills to show you how to make a slug of doom. I hope you are all taking part in the challenge and having some super silly fun times and reading lots of really great new books. So what is the slug of doom I hear you cry? <laughs> So, the Slug of Doom is a character in this book by Matt Long called Super Happy Magic Forest Slug of Doom and it's published by Oxford University Press. So, I've chosen this character and this book because I like the bold illustrations, the bold colourful illustrations and also the characters are super silly which means it ticks all the boxes and this is the character we're focusing on. The Slug of Doom. Here are some of the things you will need. I'm just going to need one thing and that is tin foil. So I thought we'd use this because it's really easy to shape and we don't have to let it dry or anything and quite often we've all got it at home, it's something we can get easily as well from the supermarket. So take a sheet of tin foil, it doesn't have to be high quality, in fact the cheaper the better because it's cheaper it's thinner so it's easy to rip off and shape. So we're going to try and make the shape of the slug of food. Take one sheet of tin foil and scrunch it into a teardrop shape. It doesn't have to be neat, it can be all scrunched up like this, you can see that mine isn't neat at all. And then we have to just keep using sheets of foil to build that shape up, so we're wrapping it like a present, so just keep on doing that until you get it to the size that you require. Slugs can see and smell with their antennae. Make antennae by taking two smaller pieces of tin foil and twisting them into long thin lamps. You can make, you can shape two little bobbly bits on the end. Stick antennae to the Slug of Doom's body. Don't worry about it looking neat because we're actually going to cover this with a layer of tissue paper. So you don't worry about the masking tape showing. Stick on the side of its head. Step two coming up, you will need tissue and glue. Some glue, it can be either a dry glue stick or wet glue, whichever one you want, whatever's to hand. A brush if you're using the wet glue and some tissue shapes. Put an area with glue. So put some glue where you want the tissue to go. Stop 
start applying the tissue squares. the tissue around the shape. Once the shape is coated in tissue, let it dry. We can see that the Slug of Doom is quite a grumpy fellow. But how can we tell? We can tell because the illustrator has given us some clues. He has inverted eyebrows, which usually are a sign that you're feeling a bit grumpy or angry. In this picture, his mouth is facing down and it's open, so he's, he's probably shouting or something like that. So those are how we can tell that the Slug of Doom is feeling a bit grumpy. So we're going to use these things to create the Slug of Doom's face. So we will make inverted eyebrows and will make his lovely moustache and his downward facing mouth too. Cut two triangles for eyebrows. Twist, twist. Twist and shape and moustache. draw on the eye so we're going to need a felt tip just so there he is covered in uh, grey tissue paper I'm going to do it on the edge there 